The mind is like a muscle. If you don't exercise it, it'll atrophy just like anything else. Whoever's with him needs to talk, keep his mind active, and it'll show how you still care. Not sure if I do. Jeez, you're my doctor. Then why don't you just quit? Not sure I want to do that either. Oh. Maybe you should figure it out before House figures it out for you. you know, maybe you should have your midlife crisis after I'm better. Cutner. We'll be right back. Wait. Wait, what did you just see? Do you drink? He's a roofer. Alcohol hardly proves your theory. Mark your father, Benyami disease fits. LF2s are normal. Speak English. Is it fixable? What does that mean? That hurts. No tremors. How much do you drink? A six pack a day? I hate beer. I don't I don't even drink beer. Less, or maybe something else. It may not be alcohol at all. Street opiates could also cause. I don't get high. PP. Either we play 20,000 questions with every street drug, or instead of talking to him, we talk to the lesion. Talk to me. We're going to biopsy the brain stem? For the record, that doesn't count as your inspired idea. It's sort of where I was heading. You're going to cut into my head? Why? Stop treating me like a piece of furniture. I have a right to know what's going on. Where's that going? Blood in your urine clogged up your old catheter. Peeing blood? That must be what the insecure doctor saw. Every oh, gets his answer. Damn it. The surgery will get us more clues. Oh. oh. You have visitors. No. Oh, Molly. Come in. Daddy! Daddy! I told you not to bring them. They wanted to see their father. I can't even hug them. They can handle it. It's gonna be all right. You're not so sure anymore, are you? They must have told you that it's dangerous, that I could die. And that's why you brought them in here. I got an A plus on my test. To see me before I die. I love you, Daddy. Daddy loves you too. I want to show my drawings. Kids just want a dad, even if he's just a lump. Maybe you should go now. Oh, no. They can stay, please. Let them stay. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Sorry. You were crying. We're gonna put you out, just so we can drill the hole. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Then we'll wake you back up. We need you to answer some simple yes or no questions while we're cutting to make sure we're not cutting any Seems shoot. to be working. Deep breaths. In about 10 seconds, you'll feel lightheaded. And by now, you should be floating. How come I'm not better? God's not supposed to work in trial and error. God's mistakes are well documented. If he'd done everything right the first time, there'd have been one plague and zero great floods. Those are because of human mistakes. You think your doctor has an apartment on Mount Olympus? God put me with you for a reason. I'm gonna be all right still, right? I don't know. Lee? You with me now? Easy questions. You'll be done before you know it. Is this equation correct? What, sir? If you make a mistake, I'm not gonna know that anymore? Are these lines parallel? Special relationships intact. Take a look at this circle. Is more than half of it shaded? Of course. Don't forget to blink. Is more than half of the circle shaded? Sorry. Yes. Look at me, Lee. Again. Is more than half of this circle shaded? Blink. Come on, Lee. Blink. Oh, back out. Can I blink? Can I blink?
Why aren't his eyes moving? Two options. My neurologist screwed up, or else something the hospital lawyer is going to have to come up with when he sues us. Blinking and eye movements are controlled by a small cluster of nerves just millimeters from the biopsy site. But he's still in there, right? I mean, he just can't communicate. Possible. Also possible is that the surgery caused so much swelling in his brainstem that he's just gone. This is going to mean months of sleepless nights, wondering if I could have done something differently. Maybe it's not that I'm sick of house. It's that I'm sick of being scared out of my mind to go to work every day. Did that just... Was that you? had any bloody diarrhea in the last two weeks? Rotavirus out. Any recent joint pain? Epstein-Barr's out. Have you traveled out of the country lately? What about inside the country? He was in St. Louis. Good. Could be Missouri malaria. We'll start treatment. He was... He was there. The machine must not be working. Hmm. Either that or he lied to you about it. People do that sometimes. For example, I just lied to him about Missouri malaria. Did you go to St. Louis? I should have told you. Why didn't I just tell you? Damn. weren't in St. Louis for two days. I assume you were getting some strange for two days. So does she. You have to tell her I wasn't. Amazing. A man who only has two blips at his disposal can still lie. I'm not lying. If you were getting some really strange strange, you could have contracted neurosyphilis. Infection went to your brain, froze you right up. Good news is, it's treatable. You'll be up and moving in time to sign the divorce papers. Why would I tell you the truth about being in St. Louis and then not tell you the truth about this? He just admitted he wasn't in St. Louis in front of his wife. And you think he's lying when she's not even in here? I'm liking this one more and more. Don't fire him. Were you out of the state? I never left. Were you within 20 miles of your house? Yes. Were you within five miles? Yes. Within two miles? Yes. Did you stay at a hotel? No. You had to sleep somewhere. Your car? No. A friend's house? Yes. Yes. That narrows it down, depending on how popular you are. Tell the wife to stop crying, get in here. says that when he was supposed to be in St. Louis, he was staying in a friend's house. Really? Yes. Let's assume that you believe him for the moment. Name your friends within two miles. Martin and Kim? No. Guess someone who doesn't have a wife. Dave? Yes. Got an address? 